Okay, let's Although learn about the Emirates statue. Fans may find it difficult to separate Arsenal's old charismatic home ground of Highbury. The Emirates has become one of the most iconic sites for football in the United Kingdom. Here are seven facts on the ground that the Gunners now call home. Capacity With a capacity of 60,260, it is the fourth largest football stadium in England, after Wembley Stadium, Old Trafford and Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Revenue Arsenal's match day revenue increased from 37.4 million in their old Highbury Stadium to over 90 million in the Emirates Stadium. That's the equivalent to an additional income of over 1 million pounds per match. Sponsorship. When Arsenal FC gave the naming rights to their new stadium to the airline company Emirates, they signed the largest sponsorship deal in English football history worth approximately 100 million pounds. Starting from 2004, the stadium has been known as the Emirates ever since. The deal also included a shirt sponsorship for eight years, starting from the 2006-2007 season. Renewed in 2012 and 2018, this is the longest running shirt partnership in the Premier League and one of the longest relationships in world football. Not just for football. Aside from its sporting uses, the Emirates Stadium doubles as a conference centre, events and music venue. In 2008, it even played host to a summit between former British Prime Minister Gordon Brown and former French President Nicolas Sarkozy. In terms of music, Green Day and Coldplay have both performed there. Design the Emirates Stadium is a four-tiered bowl with translucent polycarbonate roofing over the stands, but not over the pitch. The glass and steel construction gives the impression that the stadium sparkles in sunlight and glows in the night. It has won several design awards, including Best Use of Architectural Design and Best Major Project Award. History Although Arsenal originally wanted to expand Highbury Stadium, they weren't given permission because the stands were classed as historically listed buildings. Therefore, Arsenal had to build a new stadium in order to generate increased revenue through increased capacity. The site for the Emirates Stadium is close to the former stadium Highbury, which it pays tribute to. Consequently, the club's offices are Highbury House, located northeast of Emirates Stadium. They house the bust of Herbert Chapman that used to reside at Highbury. Visitors The Emirates Stadium officially opened on the 23rd of July 2006. The first match was a testimonial match for Dennis Burkamp, featuring an Arsenal and Ajax side. Due to the competition of nearby Wembley Stadium, the Emirates Stadium has never hosted the English national team. However, the Brazilian national team has regularly staged friendlies in the stadium.